Hey, that's what we came to watch and see from the convenience of Dora. sorts of fun here. They got Carl, our man, from Guardians of the Children. Sheriff, Highway Patrol, Police. I love this one. There's a car wash. Check them out. That is on sexy truck. Hey Don, do you think I should buy this thing? You know, trade door in or for a Dodge? What about you, Cameron? Kevin, what do you think? I think all you Dodge fans out there be happy if I was trading my Ford in for a Dodge. <laughs> all right, guys, we're, we're waiting in line now. And I think after they get two, two trips, it'll be our turn. However, the other monster truck is right up there we'll definitely go check that out here in a little bit for now we're just gonna enjoy some of the scenery oh i hear that puppy start all right so we're sitting right here okay Man, look at that. All right. What do you think, Louie? This is cool. <laughs> what do you think? totally against this ghosting but you can barely see it barely see like it says it does say police on it it's very hard to see and the sheriff one does say police or police too like 
It's super tricky, super tricky. Anyways, here we are, the guardians of the children. Need you a gladiator? What do you guys think? You need a gladiator? Nah, yeah, Cohen says so. Anyways, we're checking out this monster truck now, right up here. And boom, there it is. All right, here we go. Let's get a, a view of Cohen by a tire. Oh yeah, okay, what about Adi and Riley by a tire? Is this tire taller than you? It's taller than Riley. It's taller than Louie. Nope, we're not climbing on it. Don't climb on it, no climbing on it. Yeah. Yep. Dang. Don't climb on it, Riley. Whew. Dang, man. Dad, put it under. I did. Okay, it's under there. Look at Cohen. <laughs> oh, sorry, Willie. Hey, don't be throwing them rocks. Watch your head. I told you. No climbing on it. Gear? What gear? That's not a gear. That's a hub. Okay, what better way to watch some monster trucks than to sit on top of your car? So that is how we plan to watch the monster trucks crush all of this. And I think, I think I may just end up sending you guys like down over here on my push bar. Maybe I could give you to the kids and you could watch. y'all guys all think of that it was awesome i want to come back next year cone's a little upset but that's it guys i'll get you a closer view of these cars as we drive by it's really sweet really sweet before we end this vlog 
I'm going to go ahead and read our day-by-day -day devotions for dads. Yeah, I feel like I always say that wrong. Anyhow, <laughs> today's is seeing both sides. Before you criticize a man, you should walk a mile in his shoes. That way, if he gets angry, he will be a mile away. And you'll have his shoes. <laughs> a new twist on an old saying. <laughs> the truth is that we should... In the regular course of interaction, interacting with other humans, try to see things from their perspective. Like most guys, you probably think your way is the right way, and your opinion is the best one. Hey, you may very well be right, but if that's the vibe you throw out, of, out to the world, then you're slamming some doors that you may not want to close. In business, you're going to spend all your time doing it the same way you always did it, which means you're going to miss the next big thing. In your marriage, you're going to miss out on half of the other miss out on half of the good ideas that come with having a lof, uh, a lifelong partner. If you're not listening with an open mind, then she'll stop sharing her recommendations and opinions. That may sound like a good thing, but it most certainly is not. In your faith journey, you will stop learning and growing, which means when it comes time to share or defend what you believe, you will run out of ammunition, ammunition early in any spiritual battle. With your kids, you will be building walls that may never come down. When you see they're doing something in a way you wouldn't do it, don't immediately jump down their throats and proclaim failure as a father. Instead, open a dialogue about what they're doing and why. Solomon told his son, the first to speak in court sounds right until the cross-examination begins. Proverbs, Proverbs 18.17 that's, that's just another way of saying Every issue has two sides, and before casting judgment on man, walk a mile in his shoes. What about you? The above paragraph paragraphs are not saying, don't judge. They are saying, look at both sides of an issue before you judge. The good news is, once you have walked a mile in another man's shoes, you have earned the right to tell him that his shoes aren't comfortable, that they cause Calyx, calluses, and that they are not designed for hiking the rocky trails of life. Or maybe you'll like his shoes so much that you buy two pairs for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this Monster Truck video, smash that thumbs up. Don't forget to click the red subscribe button, ring that bell for Cohen, and we will catch you in another video. Have a great night and God bless. Don't ever give up, God is here with you Yeah, You are a child, nothing but love is true Just got it fixed in you, keep your eyes on the prize That's life everlasting, only through Jesus Christ He came to die